he doesn't open his eyes. <clears throat> his lungs literally shut down. A Stockton family is blaming President Trump's travel ban for keeping a mother from her gravely ill two-year-old son. Abdullah Hassan has been on life support for the past month, and his condition is not improving. It's a heartbreaking story. His mother, a Yemeni national, is being kept out of the country. New at 5, CBS 13's Adrian Moore with the organization stepping in now to help change that. Time's running now. Please help us get my family together again. It's been a race against the clock for Ali Hassan, who's desperately trying to get his wife to the U.S. to say a final goodbye to their son. My wife's calling me every day, wanted to kiss and hold her son. For the one last time. Two-year-old Abdullah was born with a degenerative brain disease that causes severe seizures. He's been on life support at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital in Oakland for the past month. And I wish sometimes I just talk to him and start crying. I wish tell him, please open your eyes. But it's too late. But efforts to see Abdullah one last time have hit a major snag for his mother. Because of the travel ban, the family says, the Yemeni national has been denied entry into the U.S. Every time I tell her anything with the doctor say, she start crying and crying. While the U.S. State Department says it is processing her request for a waiver to get her into the country, the family says it's running out of time. Now the Council on American Islamic Relations, or CARE, is pushing the embassy in Cairo to expedite her visa. We're calling for a waiver, just a, 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 for the embassy to grant a waiver so she can be here with her son in his dying moments. While CARE says it's reached out to local lawmakers for additional support, its leaders are encouraging the community to now email the embassy in Cairo. They have, have to be action right now before it's too late. Our hearts go out to that family, and Abdullah celebrated his second birthday just two days ago.